tarehe 30 ya hii Novemba mwezi huu ambao tunaingia Novemba tutakuwa pana mkutano wa revival jioni kuanzia saa kumi you, you, you can go to work you can go to work ufanye kazi but wako excuse hayo masaa jioni tu upatikane that particular evening ili kwamba tukwe na hiyo revival is yes an evening revival itaisha saa moja kamili and we shall be hosting our bishop uh, how many of you know bishop justin sakwa huyo ndo baba alinizana akanilea kama kuna kitu aliwahi kunenea unakiona leo is it true for when that old man tells you it is well it is surely well is a man that has just been helped of god we shall be hosting him and mama they shall be here on sunday tutakuwa na main service ambao our bishop justin sakwa will be ministering together with mom this there will only be two activities katika ibada ya jumapili activity ya kwanza they will be blessing us before we go for christmas before we go for what they will be blessing us pastor wewe utabaki hapa peke yako siku ya christmas but anyway we might be here but they are coming to bless unajua christmas inakujanga na mambo kada wa kada unatoka huko unaambukizwa maroho unakuja january na kukaukia it will be a father son blessing that is when you will know apostle wickliff can humble kama unaitaka kuona nikinyenyekea hakikisha hiyo sando kwa hiyo ibada wewe wakati na saa hii nimevaa suti na lala kwa flosi chali kama kumefagiliwa i don't care so that my papa can just lay his hand on me that is a man who has been through the processes of god and is full of god the last meeting tulikuwa na ilikuwa gani it was it the ordination there is a pastor who came here you remember the pastor alikuwa amekaa hapa katoka hapa akakuja akani signal hapa akaniona zake uliza apostle this old man anavanga kiatu namba na mimi ninaokopa nikakopa kwenda kuuliza baba you, you know i relate with mom directly then i relate with the papa baba means law baba means authority mama means grace mama means love so na jifichanga huko mama mama ananipatia hizo si siri mama kaniambia ah, was it 43 something mama kanipatia namba kana mama alipatia namba nikaambia mtumishi wa Mungu huyo pasta alitoka akaenda akatafu aliacha ibada ikiendelea akaenda akanunua kiatu akakuja akaeka kwa miguu ya bishop bishop aliivalia hapa uliona kijipima from there ministry ya huyo pasta ile bona vita zimetoka ministry ko productive the guy is doing with the guy ana ubiri revelation unajua pia hii kumbe hii kubiri revelation inategemea the ground on which you are standing and the people who are backing you up ministry ya pasta ikapona sasa amejua anakuja anasema apostle i must be there afadhali niache ibada ya kwangu ikiendelea nataka tu nikuje kuna pasta kwa hapa anaitwa pasta ile wa hofa hofa ministries hope from above pasta amesema no apostle mimi nataka kuwa kwa hiyo ibada nioneko tu mwanaume unanyenyeka yanga huyo the last time sasa alikuja akatoa watu wake walichukua wakatoa hapa sadaka imagine pasta anatoa watu kwa kanisa lake wanakuja wanatoa wapi sadaka hapa because people are able sensitive enough to detect to detect i was a very good preacher very productive i was very okay but i could not host anything till when he said may you go and take what i could not take there is something so special than academics we call it the mantle praise the lord So he will be coming to bless us. He will be coming to bless us. Mtu yote tutakuwa nayo. Tafadhali, najua some of us here ladies mko na wanaume ambao wanafanya kazi mbali nina vitu kama hiyo. Mwambie kama anaweza pata nafasi on Saturday hiyo apatikane na pia when 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 
pia first of december which is will be on a, a sunday apatikana ibada now uh, 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 kwa hiyo ibada pia our bishop will take us through the lord's table tutaikula meza ya bwana bwana asifiwe and boas i keep repeating isi chakula ya ushirika it is an act of faith boas akipawa ka kitu anaonanga amepoa kidogo so anaona afadhali akipoa boas please that one is an act of faith and please you don't take the lord's table when there are sins in you na sire mejia kifua repent prepare yourself kuna watu wanakula hivyo vitu vifafa vinapotea watu wanakula hivyo vitu wanakuja hiyo damu ya Yesu ukimwi na kauka virusi vinakauka bacterial disease rapona watu wananemeshwa tu aba we are living the life of faith now after that tutakula lunch boss tutakula lunch my son we will eat i'm giving you the assurance we must eat somebody shout for boss we must eat eat boss tutakula and after we eat baada ya kukula lunch tutakuja sasa katika ibada ya afternoon we will be launching a ministry within a ministry within this ministry in a itwa take me back to that place of worship kuna watu wamevunjwa moyo katika kwa makanisa hawaendangi kanisa they went back to the forests from where they had come and so they hated god kuna wengine nao waliomba wafanywe miujiza na Mungu na hawakutendewa na hawa, kuliko watafute wajue ni kwa nini hawakutendewa wakamchukia Mungu wakaona kama God is not in existence you get it so watu wamechoka tena na Mungu watu ni sasa ma, watu wameeka wa Mungu mahali pamoja tu mtoto akizaliwa wana dedicate birthday wana ita pasta harusi wana ita pasta alafu kuzikwa wana ita pasta lakini mahusiano yao wao wenyewe na Mungu hayapo au watu ambao wamevunjwa moyo we need to follow up on them we need to encourage them we need to strengthen them so that they start haya kuna wengine nao in the process of god the process of god involves some hurdles to jump over wengine wakaishiwa nguvu wakachoka wakasema kama hii safari ndio wokovu wa hapana tumeimba hapa wimbo tukasema abene baliena abeiti alanga bachingeshi na msalaba wako wapi wabebe nini msalaba because at every level there has got to be a cross that has to be carried and the cross is weighty the, the cross is ratchet the cross is painful sometimes hata yesu mwenyewe ikabidi asaidiwe kubeba So unless you have someone who can eh, you, come on bring his shoulder next to, to you for you to lean on sometimes eh, we get exhausted so we need to reach out to them tell them no come on let's go back to the house of god take me back to that place where i didn't know even how to speak in tongues but god blessed me just because i was there take me back to that place of worship where i was not so good in prayer eh, but mikono yangu ilizalisha tulikuwa na afya tulipenya biashara zilinawili take me back to that place of worship mali nilibebanga tunda la nyanya ninapeleka wakati mwingine sina sadaka ya pesa lakini nabeba tu kitungu kwa ile kibanda yangu ya mboga mali ninauzanga i take it to the church take me back to that place because it was in the place of worship where i gained the relevance na nikarudi hapa nikasema watu wa Mungu sikilizeni kwa makini when you pray god might say yes god might say no god might say wait but when we wo- you worship i wonder if you are waiting he comes he comes he will surely come and when he comes tell him what you want brethren encourage yourself encourage yourself come back to the place of worship wacha kujikunja come back to the place na kuombea moyo wako upone tu come back to the place of worship vita zitaisha amani utapata look here he says in Deuteronomy 8 if you will be careful enough to honor my law in the land into which i'm taking you and what is the law worship 
if you'll be careful enough to worship me gabriel i will bless the air you breathe i'll bless the water you drink i'll bless the food you eat in a humble way i will deliver you from the spirit of infirmity the spirit of sicknesses and number two i will make you the head and not the tail sasa shetani amejua kitu weakness yako anajua mungu amekubariki njia hii na anajua hiyo baraka ikikuja utafracture ufalme wake sasa anakosi kitu sasa una concentrate kukamba walikufa shosho the way when you concentrate on that that is the lifestyle you will live I charge you today achana na kukaa walikufa walale achana nao sijui senge sio bando mabeho I don't remember and, 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 she, and she's a witness at tupatane tu kwa nyumba ati mtu jirana anatusikia mlikuja kwa njia saba ya saba we don't do that kama kuna kitu jirani wanasikienga tukifanya god you are awesome nyasai ore ho chenya yada nyasai warula mwikulu north ya western kaka mega county ukaingia sabatia ukapenya butere ukaenda shitwitwi ukaingia mleche katika iboma ukanitafutia mwanamke mrembo nyasayo wa makana oh, yes. mungu kuna furahia oh, yes. even of it what we are saying to kifanya that is that's what we do will you do that you will be blessed boss you might kushinda tu hapo na subira mama ujaleta ugali uja kama angekuwa boss ufike kwa siku ingine sasa oh mungu walikuwa wananitusi wanasema niko na kichwa kubwa ati niko na akili mingi ati Mungu sijui nini lakini Mungu kwa hiyo kichwa yako kubwa ukaenda Kenyatta University uka confuse wanaume wote hawakuona mama Oli wakamtuma have you ever praised God for your wife nasema hivyo watu wa Mungu nasema hivyo watu wa Mungu ni hatari sana mke wako kukuvumilia It's dangerous. Na ni hatari pia mme kukuvumilia.